Hey folks, as we have now officially entered September here post Labor Day, I wanted to give you a quick update what our market rover uh, scanner is telling us in terms of sectors to watch here very specifically that could uh, either sort of make or break the market here for the intermediate term. Let's have a look. Um, I want to focus very specifically on uh, three uh, sectors that uh, together are make up um, I'm looking at the, the composition here, probably make up almost 30% of the S&P 500. Uh, specifically, what we're looking at is consumer discretionary stocks, the XLY is the ETF, uh, industrial stocks, XLI, XLI, and financials, which is XLF in terms of the sector uh, ETF. So if I look at uh, those three ETFs, we're going to start off with industrials first because it's the most obvious ones, and I'm going to make this chart a bit larger. You can see industrial stocks after being bearish uh, last uh, spring, then going neutral, then went bullish, and industrials had a huge run since we've had in the, the bullish trend, which is the green background here. Uh, but really, industrial stocks have essentially done nothing since the month of May. They remain bullish trend from our market rover perspective, and there have been trades along the way, as you can see, but really they're consolidating. And the industrial stocks make up about 8 8.2 percent of the s p 500 if we were to see a resolution higher there that would certainly give the broader market a bit more uh conviction or a bit more breath to go higher another one is financials uh, the xlf is the etf there you can see our market rover after being basically bearish it for a while then finally went bullish last november and it's been an explosive move to the upside in financials but very much like industrials financials have been basically doing nothing in this case since also about May. If we were to see a breakout there, that would certainly help the broader market push higher. The financials make up about 11%. So between the financials and industrial, we're looking at 20% uh, of the S&P 500. Um, and then last but not least, uh, I wanted to have a look at consumer discretionary uh, stocks, and this is the XLY ETF here to the market rover. Absolutely nailed this, uh, went uh, bullish uh, those stocks in August, and since then there's been nothing but a beautiful bullish trend. But again, look at this a bit more closely, and really, with the exception of maybe a 2% move, consumer discretionary stocks as a sector haven't done anything since April. Uh, consumer discretionary makes up about almost 12% of the S&P 500. So now we're looking at all together these three sectors making up almost 30% of the S&P. If these three sectors have it within them, themselves to break higher, we could see further market breadth expanding, further market going higher. If they don't go higher and start consolidating more and maybe even break down for a bit, I would expect more seasonal volatility as is typical in September and parts of October. Hope it helps and we'll see you soon.